When people describe the qualities of others that they like to be around, down to earth is usually one of the first qualities that they mention. Now down to earth people tend to be easier to be around. So people just sort of naturally gravitate towards them. I personally don't think it's possible to be down to earth every single time, right? It's impossible. And not being down to earth every single time actually in itself from where I sit isn't a bad thing. But if you'd like to be more down to earth, I believe that there are certain things that you can do. Now, this video right here is going to highlight 10 things that you can do and practice that will have people generally pouring all over you. Women, you'll get the attention from the ladies and so much more. So whatever you do, let me have your attention. I'm gonna run through this. I'll be right back. Welcome back. My name is Jessica. Now, if this is the first time you're watching my videos, you're welcome to join uh, my community by clicking the join button at the bottom of this video. Better yet, if you'd like more videos like this, take your time to go through my heart to heart playlist right here on my YouTube channel to find more intriguing videos that demystify women. Don't forget to hit the like button if you find any of my videos helpful. And remember to subscribe if you'd like to, you know, get more videos of this nature. If you share the video with a friend who may need to hear it as well, that would be highly appreciated. Let's jump right in. So, a down to earth person is someone who usually feels easy to be around. They seem genuinely kind, have a good attitude, can admit mistakes when they need to. They're present you know, when other people are around and not just fidgeting on their phones and distracted. And they tend to use a lot of common sense in their everyday dealings. They're people who are not pushy, they're not big headed or demanding. And being down to earth is not a specific behavior, but rather from where I sit, a personality description, you know, someone who's down to earth will tend to have a collection of certain traits and behaviors. So for example, they may come across as a positive person, a happy person who's honest, who's humble, um, a great listener maybe. Being down to earth will likely help you build better relationships with everyone around you, including the women that you admire, like, and love. And that's why this video is very important. Now by staying authentic and focusing on the things that really matter, you're more likely to be content in life. When you break down the characteristics that make up being down to earth, you'll find that there are concrete ways that you can achieve this. So let's learn how to be down to earth, shall we? Number one, learn to listen without interrupting. Now, if you can stop interrupting others, you'll already be well on your way to being a better listener and more down to earth. When someone speaks, are you focused on what they're saying or planning what you will say next? Do you assume you know what someone is going to say and end up saying it for them? Or maybe you need to work on maybe your impulse control, the impulse to just interject and cut in when people are trying to make their point because you want your voice to be the loudest. Now, there are too many guys out there who are guilty of this. They think they know everything and really are always in a hurry to prove to people that they do. When you come across as, well, a know-it-all, people will begin to shy away from you or simply avoid engaging you in conversations. Number two, curb your bragging. Now bragging and being down to earth are polar opposites. If you ask me, someone who's down to earth refrains from bragging completely and usually won't even feel the need to do so. They don't need that validation from anywhere or anyone. Now bragging often comes from a sense of insecurity. If you ask me by boasting, we try to influence others and get them to see us in a certain light, in a certain way. Of course, this often has the opposite reaction as well, you know, where women or people around you start to laugh behind your back, make jokes at your expense and that kind of thing. You see, there's a Ghanaian proverb that says, which you could translate to mean that great products don't need advertisement. Now practice taking a moment to reframe what you want to say every single time. If someone praises you for a win, for example, you can say, Oh, thank you. I'm truly encouraged by your acknowledgement, encouraged to do more instead of saying something like, Oh, you know, this is not even like my first award. This is one of many. I've had so many, I'm even tired. 
<laughs> no, honestly, do not go down that road. Remember this, nobody likes a braggart, okay? Number three, try to involve yourself in your community. Now, have you often heard people say something like, oh, I'm surprised to see Mark participating in this community cleanup exercise. I mean, when you think about it, why should it be such a big deal? Why do people not expect Mark to be there? Well, people might see Mark as coming from a higher social class or may see Mark as someone who shouldn't be ordinarily participating in the exercise because perhaps he truly doesn't have to, has enough power not to, to stay out, you know, or they see him as someone who turns up his nose, but no, Mark is there with them. He's in the trenches, getting his hands dirty. Listen, people who are down to earth tend to care about other people in the community in which they live. They want to make things better. So they get involved in local projects they believe in. They, you know, look around the community and try to find out what issues are going on and how they can best help solve it with the help and collaboration of others, right? Now, if you wanna be down to earth, find out ways that you can get involved in your community, in the people, in your environment, immediate environment. As an extra perk, remember this, getting involved in your community is a great way to meet people and grow your personal network as well. At this point, before I go any further, I would like to quickly acknowledge a Ghanaian airline called Passion Air for supporting my channel since the beginning of the year. They've been with me every single video I've posted. Now listen, if you ever need to fly to Ghana, well, within Ghana, if you ever fly to Ghana and you're within Ghana, you need to get around really quick. Passion Air has got you covered any time and any day, and I will recommend that airline. Thank me later. Number four, hold yourself accountable. Now, in this era of social media and the internet, one mistake can cost you a whole lot. Don't forget, there are also people I call keyboard warriors who are simply waiting for you to make a mistake so they can publicly ridicule you. Sometimes it's hard to admit you're wrong. I get it. However, take the time to consider your side of the interactions that you've had with people, both in person and on social media. If someone offers you constructive criticism or says that you did something to upset them, for instance, Take time to truly consider what went down, consider your words, consider your actions. You can even, for instance, ask people if they agree with the judgment or their opinion that this person is expressing. Of course, you don't have to accept everything that others say about you or to you, but consider that it can be difficult for us to see our negative behaviors um, on occasion. And sometimes you can be completely off, completely wrong, and you wouldn't even know. Now, if you realize that you've made a mistake, don't be unwilling to point it out and apologize. People respect you for it, okay? Number five, try to be more humble. Now, you may know that down to earth people are considered humble, but the question is how can you be humble yourself? Is humility something that is taught? Well, consider that things you may find easy may be difficult for others. Take time to really think about how different kinds of privileges and opportunities have influenced your life. Remember, not everyone you come across has been so lucky. For example, maybe you have a well-paying job and it's difficult for you to see or understand when people complain that they're living paycheck to paycheck, you know? Telling others that they should stop complaining and get a better job is the opposite of being humble, in my opinion. I mean, sure, maybe you worked hard to get to where you are, you know. You knew people in high places. There were probably some things or people that helped you along the way. Now, instead of making people feel bad about their circumstances, work on being grateful that the skills you have allowed you to find a job where you were compensated fairly. Pay attention to the things you give weight to and in everything, always consider the people around you. Number six, don't try to be someone else. Now a big part of being down to earth is being authentic, being comfortable in your own skin. In other words, try not to be fake. 
And I know it's hard. It's really hard sometimes. It's tempting to put on a mask when basically we want others to like us. But if we do, our relationships will never reach their true depths because you're not being original here. You know what I mean? Feeling comfortable with ourselves is a process. One way to become more comfortable with yourself is to practice speaking to yourself as you would to a friend. The way I would do it is to look in a mirror at the end of every day, speak positivity into my life, encourage myself, pat myself on the back for surviving yet another day. Now, as you draw attention to your strengths and how you're showing up for yourself, you'll start to like yourself more. And that's the secret. Number seven, don't compare yourself to others. Don't do it. Comparing yourself to others is something that we all do. And then sometimes it's hard, you know, but we often get caught up when we do that. We judge ourselves for not being where others are or feel envious of their position. We compare how we look, our relationship, our job, the cars we drive, the houses we live in. I mean, we compare ourselves to others. We miss focusing on our own journey. We try to figure out others' truths, wanting it for ourselves, but each of us has our own path in life. And that's what a lot of people tend to forget. Try to make sure that the main person you compare yourself to is your past self. And indeed, the only time you should look back is to see how far you have come. Number eight, look beyond the superficial. What qualities do you care about in yourself, your friends, the people you want to date? For example, when dating, a lot of people find themselves focusing on their dates, looks, their heights, their hobbies, their job, um, their religion, and so on. Now, if you find yourself being put off by such things, it's worth asking what qualities you truly believe will make a good partnership. It's normal to want to be with someone attractive, but it's worth considering if that truly is the most important thing. Often, attraction grows as we get to know a person. Or you may find yourself, for instance, constantly thinking about improving your look, you know, losing weight, the number of likes and followers you have on social media. All these things affect you, you know, all these things are things you consider, and you can't help it sometimes. One way to get past this, though, is to imagine yourself towards the end of your life, lying on your bed with just a few hours or days to live. What do you think will matter to you at that point in time? I mean, let's be frank here. Looks fade. Job success, it can come and go. But what we tend to value most is the, the impact that we've made and the connections that we've shared and how we've made people feel by just being in their lives. What legacy are you leaving behind? These are some of the most important things. Number nine is to respect people from all walks of life. Do you find yourself constantly judging certain types of people? It may help to remind yourself that everyone has their own struggles. Keep in mind that everyone has a story and we can learn from people who are different from us. Listen, the truth is if you surround yourself only with those who share your views, you limit your growth. Plus it would be worthwhile to note that you'll not always be in a position of power and or authority. You will not always be in the majority. And indeed the majority isn't always right. Nothing lasts forever and you'll never know who you'll need a favor from in future. Finally, accept people for who they are. Being down to earth means accepting that people are who they are at any moment in time. We can all get caught up in our judgments of how things should be, um, but it's good to give people grace. It's good to pe give people space. It's good to give people the benefit of the doubt. We all have our faults. Nobody has the correct answers. We're all bumping our heads here. Accepting our own flaws can help us accept people despite their quirks. Keep in mind that accepting people doesn't mean that you have to necessarily keep them around. In fact, sometimes accepting the way people are is the first step in removing them from your life. When we don't truly accept people, we can find ourselves trying to change them. You can't change someone unless they really want to. You can probably inspire them, support them, so they could possibly 
figure out how to change, but you cannot do it for them or motivate them to do so. They may be motivated, but at the end of the day, if they are not willing to take the step, nothing happens. Sometimes accepting the way people are means accepting that they are no longer a good presence in our lives and it's better for us to walk away. And that's something I want you to think about. If you want to be down to earth, consider these 10 things I just told you. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you found value in it, please share it with someone else. Smash the like button as that helps the algorithm. And of course, um, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you so much for watching and listening. I'll see you in the next video. My name is Jessica. Cheers.